everybody, Z1 here, back with a Java tutorial. Okay, so we are going to, I'm, I'm going to show you how to create a system tray icon for up here or wherever your taskbar is in this area. So like where the battery and all the icons, all the tiny little buttons here. Okay, so uh, let's get started. First thing, as always, create the main method. Uh, this is this is not entirely needed for the system tray itself. Okay, so uh, call the constructor, and then this is what's needed if system tray dot is supported init sys tray private void init sys tray okay so <coughs> now we need to create a few variables private final pop-up menu pop-up equals new pop-up menu private final tray icon tray icon equals new tray icon toolkit dot get default toolkit dot get image and we imported the toolkit if you can see it at the top there okay so we need to do system dot get property user dot dir plus icon dot gif now, the only problem I've encountered is that it does not load this image, even though, even if I put an image there, it will not load it. I don't know why. Okay, um, also we just imported java.avwt and tray icon and pop-up menu. Okay, so, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to look into this more, see if I can find out how but right now that's all there's no work around as far as I know okay so private final system tray tray equals system tray I get system tray okay so those are the final very so now for the pop-up menu private final j menu menu equals new j menu okay so we're gonna name that blah and then private final j menu item item 1 equals new j menu item blurg private final j menu um item item 2 equals new j menu item foo okay so private final j menu okay i'll do this real quick quick 
Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of all the swing components and just put a star here. Okay, private final. Hmm. radio button menu item uh, you know how that works we don't need to do that okay so I'm gonna put those two imports back in so now we can get started you know what I thought of uh, I thought about this and uh, now I'm, I'm thinking we might want to create two more Of these okay private final item exit item equals new j menu item exit Okay, so now pop up dot add menu one Hold on. Okay. No. Pop up. Dot add. Menu one. Okay. I'm sorry for the uh, thing here at the side. It seems to always appear at the least opportune time. Okay, so menu one dot add item one. Okay, so none of it is swing. Great. Okay, so pop up dot add separator. So this is, adds a bar, a horizontal line. Okay, pop up dot add exit item menu one dot. Add item two. All 
Okay. So now we can go to tray icon dot sim pop up menu pop up and try. I'm just going to insert the block statement. Okay, so try tray dot add tray icon and you may also notice tray dot remove tray icon uh, it could be helpful um, okay so now this is set up now we want to add our action listener Okay, so exit item dot add action listener new action listener public void action performed action event EVT. Okay, so now I can import it with no errors. Okay, and then item one dot add action listener new action listener public void action performed action event ebt item 2 dot add action listener new action listener public void action performed action event EVT okay so this is the exit item so system dot exit zero so with doing these you can basically do anything you can uh, actually make it so that clicking a certain button will open up a form or yeah you can basically do anything no limits okay so item one try icon dot display message Tray icon dot display message foo message type dot morning. Okay, so we're going to create one more item. Private final menu. Ug menu item item 3 equals new menu item bar. Menu 1 dot Item three copy this and paste it down. Okay, so item three dot add action listener, new action listener, public void action performed oh. 
I totally failed that. Wow. There we go. Okay, so tray icon dot display message. Okay, so now when we run this, So it should be popping up soon. There. Okay, so when we right click it, blah one. But it's uh, not popping up. Anyway, here's the separator, here's the exit button, and it closed the program. Okay. Okay, so it turns out we might need to uh, add a few action listeners. Dot add. Okay, action listener new. Action listener. So I'm going to copy this. Okay, so I'm going to uh, click this here. So it's not popping up. Great. Hold on, guys. I will be right back. Okay, guys. I found the problem. All of these final variables here, all the menus and menu items, they can't be final. I believe it should work now. So we run it. Okay, so it shows up. Hmm. Okay, well, when we click blurg, it says blurg. Foo shows up as foo. Bar shows up as bar, etc. So that's what it does, guys. That's all I have to show you, etc., etc., whatever. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, get me out there. 
Uh, leave a like and a comment for anything you would like me to do next. And try and keep it within reason. I'm not the most genius man in the world. I wish. I don't know everything about programming. But I certainly can learn and show you guys how to do it. So, yeah, whatever. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Subscribe. Whatever. Bye.